Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna paint a more realistic macro pattern. We're gonna use a holographic foil to imitate that holographic scene that a macro has. And we're starting right now. Alright, first of all I hot stamped this swim bait with a nice holographic foil which is gonna look very realistic because mackerels have that holographic shine on their bodies, especially on the white, the underside of the body. So we're gonna replicate that with this holographic foil. If you haven't seen the video yet how to do this and you wanna know how to hot stamp a swim bait or any other lure, I will leave a link in the description below and also in the upper corner of this video. Now I'm not gonna go too crazy on this, but I do want it to come off a little bit more realistic and we're gonna start off with a little bit of white to cover the top and the bottom. Now I'm using a little bit of Kratex Pearl White and I'm gonna make that belly a little bit pearlescent, uh, the head a little bit and the back also. And now I'm also gonna spray a little bit on the entire sides of the body with pearlescent white just to make it a little bit wider but still keep that holographic foil underneath. Next up is some Vallejo Metal Color White Aluminium and that's to create our base for the back of the lure. Right, so next up, before I do anything else, I want to use a little bit of a black wash on the head and on the fins, and I'm going to wipe it off a little bit so that only the black stays in the deepest cracks and crevices. But it brings out a little bit more detail and it's going to look really good. And also on the head, on my reference picture here, there's a lot of black. So we're going to leave a little bit more of that black on the head and it's going to look a little bit more realistic. Alright, I really like this part. Now, Vallejo washes, they reactivate when they come into contact with water or with the wash again, because it's water based. So basically, whenever you make these washes wet again, you can remove anything. So they, they reactivate. So I got a little piece of cloth here, and it's totally soaked in water. And as you can see, I can remove most of the black again and only leave those details. Alright, so now I got wicked detail black in my chamber and I reduced it with a little bit of reducer, about 10%. And I added some 4050, so it's a little bit more transparent, but still it's gonna cover quite well. And I have this stencil here that I got laying around, I once made for something else. It's not exactly a mackerel pattern, but it will suffice to create a kind of a realistic pattern. And I'm, and I'm only gonna use certain parts that look a little bit like a mackerel pattern. So we're gonna try to create a macro pattern with a stencil because it's gonna go way faster. You can also do it by hand or you can use a brush or you can cut out the stencil if you don't have any. Alright, 
All right, now with that same black, I'm gonna darken the tail fin a little bit, the side fins, and a little bit around the eye too. All right, next up I got Candy Tuo Carib Blue in my chamber, and this is one of my favorite candy colors because it's such a light blue, and it's really a perfect color match for a lot of marine fish. And we're gonna cover the entire back and a little bit of the sides with some Candy Tuo just to make it extra blue and also to come underneath those lines. And those lines are a little bit too far down because they go past the blue here. And I did that on purpose so that I can use a little bit of Candy Tuo Blue to create a fading blue towards the back. Alright, now it's time to put our eyes in. These regular eyes fit really well and are very realistic. But I wasn't feeling it. I was, I wanted to do something with that. So I am actually gonna make these eyes a little bit more white, so it looks like this this mackerel has been dent or blind or cooked for a while. So it, I think it's gonna add a little bit more realism, and it's gonna give a cool aspect to this lure instead of just the normal holographic fish eyes that we usually use. Tiny bit of filet dead white. ready for a clear coat. Alright, so our lure is finished and I really like how that whole graphic foil subtly shines through that pearl white like a realistic mackerel as always guys i will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that i used to paint this lure this will guide you to my web shop which is based in sweden if you would buy anything there you will be supporting me and the channel if you got any questions or suggestions or you just want to share a little bit of knowledge with the lure painting community leave them in the comments down below thank you for watching have a nice day and see you next time Bye-bye.